Welcome back, everyone. Welcome, shop. Happy, happy early Christmas. Yes, happy post Thanksgiving early Christmas. Welcome to the period of time when you weren't sick of Home Alone yet. <laughs> nope, that we, was never. We for had me. A, we had just the perfect amount of sass <laughs> argument last night. Because she she go, she comes to bed. She I'm playing a game. Oh my God, he's like a ninja. No, he's a hiker. So we're playing a game, right? We're, we're, I'm playing my game, and she comes into the bed. She's like. Oh my god, it's Christmas, and that means ABC is 25 days of Christmas, and, that, and that means that fucking eight of them are home alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, go check, everybody go check, if you live in America, go check ABC Family's listing for 25 days of Christmas right now. Half of them are home alone. You see, I just... Some I, version of home I don't want to say I popped your home alone cherry, but like... No, uh, my brother-in-law popped my home alone cherry, because okay. that was the movie he grew up with, and so I watched it with him and my sister one year. And I'm like, this sucks. Okay, hang one one aside. <laughs> that is a very popular movie in Poland because it's a sign that they have the freedom to actually experience Christmas. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. So every I, year, I keep forgetting about that every year. Every year, they, they the Polish people they have like a, a like it's like the Rankin Bass films, but in Poland they watch uh they watch Home Alone. And one year they didn't right do it, and there was a massive Polish letter writing campaign that was just like, bring me my fucking Home Alone. <laughs> right on. Okay. Uh. But, it, okay, yeah, it's bad, but I, I don't want to be that guy who, who at first thought, oh, we gotta watch the Rankin and Bass things to get the spirit of Christmas inside our hearts. You gotta watch the what? The Rankin and Bass, those Christmas specials. I, it, it's my opinion. Oh, or is that the creepy 1960s stop motion that's stuff? That's any of those stop motion Oh ones, my yeah. gosh, I love all of those. Oh, you do, unironically? Unironically, I love all of those. I, Frost of the Snowman is kind of dumb. I don't... See, I, I feel... I don't mean to cage of irony, people, but I feel like as as people got older, they started to realize that they suck. They, they I, I, I wouldn't say suck. Um, they have a lot of 1960s weirdness. Uh, in, in, in animation style and also no. in, like, uh, in, in message. Yeah, yeah. Like, good God, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is fucked up. That is fucked up, and I... I'm no longer the guy that says, like, oh, did you know? Like, <laughs> He fucking knows. He knows. No, he knows. <laughs> But, I don't know, that was like the one that involved the most improv when you were singing it as a little kid. Yeah. Why Monopoly? Shut the fuck up, Greg. Except with the, the, the Jingle Bell shotgun shells thing. <laughs> oh, that was too hardcore for our teacher. She would not let us sing that. Oh, well, that's why you sing it on the bus on a freaking field trip out to the movie theater at the mall so you can watch, oh my gosh, what movie did we watch? I don't remember now. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 went, that went from like a, it, it, like a hypothetical to a really specific. To like place a really in your like heart. no no where did because I remember we were we all went to the movie theater. This is that stupid Renaissance thing. I don't think it was that stupid. I just think uh, there like, weren't uh, any awards program. There weren't any good movies. We had we got to see um, you get your choice of two movies in one year when I was in high school. Your choices were whatever or The Blind Side. <laughs> Is that where your hatred of the blind side was born? No, I have other problems. But uh, what 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 I like is um, what sh what shook me the most because I love um, unique viewing experiences. Yeah. And uh, we had <laughs> our one of our books we had to read was Great Expectations. Oh yeah. A, a very very bland, dry. No, I loved Great Expectations. Victoria, yeah, but that's a different story. Anyway, they're talking to Michael Orr, this kid. He's like, you gotta write a book about anything. How about Great Expectations? Entire room full of 17-year-olds. No! Fuck! <laughs> you can hear somebody go, fuck that! Cause, yeah, because we literally had just had to read it. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, I love those times. I love Great Expectations. Freaking Wuthering Heights can go suck my cock. That is also equally bad. Oh, God. Well, I hate that. I, I wonder, what, what's something... What, what's, what's worse? Something that doesn't try and it succeeds at not trying. Or something that tries to be like a romantic, and it turns out like a little salty and swampy. Yeah, yeah, part of my issue with Wuthering Heights was our teacher's reaction to it. She thought it was that? Acting like it was like the greatest thing in life. And that it, the, 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 this, the English novels of that period were like the epitome of high romance. It's like, uh, it's very sugary like a soap opera back then. No, it's not sugary. It's full of salt, you guys, actually. You guys want some fire fire? You guys want some reaper squeezes? Come, come, <laughs> come down in my hole. Dude, if we catch another fire bug one, we gotta call it reaper squeezes. It doesn't fit! I tried! <laughs> Damn it. We gotta get- you gotta get fancy with cutting out the consonants. Okay. Or cutting out the vowels, I mean. Reaper squeezes. Reaper squeezes. <laughs> we'll know what it means, no. like that frickin' license plate. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I, I, I struggle coming up with those. 
Um, guys, I'm just gonna tell a little heartfelt story here. I didn't want to do this today. I wasn't feeling it. I just, it, it, I didn't think I could put up a, a, a high uh, quality episode. But then I remembered the gym leader, and if I ever get there, <laughs> it, gave, it, it gave my heart, it gave my heart the will to go on. By the way, how many minutes do you think we've been doing this episode? I have no idea. Five. Oh, okay. And a half. But um. We're done. We. She was. You, you have Volkner. Would you consider him the first gym leader that made you go, hmm? Uh, so the first Pokemon anything that made me go, hmm, was probably Brock, followed closely by Steven Stone. Who you also meet in this. In this Is series. he number eight? No, he's the, in this game, he's the champion. Okay, I want to fuck him the last now that I know that his last name is Stone. Well, he's Director Stone's son. Just say Steven, then. <laughs> just, just say, Steve, just say Steve, Steven, Steven, you whore. Steven Stone <laughs> sounds like he was in an action movie in 1989 and barely speaks English. Hi, Stoketh. I don't think that's not, I don't think that's very nice of you to say. We're not talking about you, Stoketh. You got your Stoketh, GED. Stoketh, this is ju judging you for your opinions on Steven. Stoketh, you keep fighting, okay? You're doing great, okay? I wing attacked. I did good. <laughs> uh, yeah, now that, okay, but, uh, this, this girl coming up, my girl Flannery was the first one where I was like, oh my god, you are really pretty. It's the jeans and midriff, isn't it? It's, okay, it's... <laughs> As you pat my back. Ow! Sorry. Remember, my back hurts. Uh, I mean, it is the jeans and midriff, but, like, I was too young for Misty. Like, if I was a little older, legs, but... Yeah. I don't know. I like Misty because she was, like, the first cool tomboy, not the first, like, oh, she's a tomboy. The, not the first Rika. Yeah. What's another shitty tomboy? Like, um, uh. uh <laughs> sorry, it'll come. You don't. Yeah, you don't go come. down that. You don't go down that. Well, well, Sailor Mars. That's not my wheelhouse. But... I thought she was cool, but I'm like, oh, you're kind of insufferable. But the fact that you work at a shrine is cool. Uh, Ritsu's a little tomboy. But that's like current age. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, we love watching K-On. Yeah, but like, like Sabrina Johnny was... Pucker butt grew to level 18. I love it. My butt still hurts. <laughs> uh, but it, uh, Sabrina was too creepy. I yeah, mean, that's her, fair. Her, her Johto reimagining... <laughs> Especially in the anime. Her Johto reimagining, very nice, but uh, it was, it was, like, like Flannery wasn't out to, like, make boys horny. Like, What's the what's your reaction to uh, Koga's? I think it's his daughter or Jasmine? his niece. Yeah. Again, I was too young. Uh, oh, fair I, enough. I was still turned off on Johto. Like. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, she's fun. Like, I, I enjoy women that have jobs. So. Yeah, I was probably too young in Johto, which is why, like, I, I connect more with the with the leader in Hoenn. Yeah. Yeah, Steven does it for me. Kindler Jeff, like his job is to start fires. Hey Jeff. <laughs> Arsonist Jeff. Jeff, you doing you doing your job, man? Mm. Oh well, fuck. Oh, I'll be going to heal. We'll All be right, back. be right back. Guys, help us to no, thing. no, I have to help us. I gotta answer this question. Who is okay? Winona is in this game, the flying type gym leader. Is she? Oh, that's Brawly, maybe. Maybe Winona's in a later gen. The point is, I remember being super pissed off that we watched, like, Black and White, the anime. Yeah. And there was one gym leader who was, Just like, in general, you were pissed that we watched Black and White, the anime? <laughs> okay. Because it sucks. Maybe. <laughs> we kept- we kept- we kept asking- Shit! We kept asking ourselves shit like, um... Like, she- she was such a bitch. She's like, yes, type advantage is a thing, but you need a flying Pokemon, or I'm gatekeeping you from my fucking gym. Yeah, that is... well... It wasn't Black and White, I don't remember the- the gen that started it, but they had these things called Sky Battles. And I think there's one gym where you ha it has to be in a sky battle, so you have to have a Pokemon that is part flying. Alright. What was your favorite gym gag? Um... I like this. I don't know, I, I like Volkner's. Um, the, the rotating platforms. That's pretty cool. That's been a while. Um, I, I- it was right when I stopped playing Pokemon, but, uh, who's Claire the Dragon Ho? Sorry, the yeah. Dragon Lady. <laughs> the uh, dragon lady. No, I, she's a hoe. No, she was very- She's Lance's she, hoe. Oh my god, she, she is so far up his asshole. Are they, are they dating? No, she is just so far up his asshole. Oh my god, there's so much Rule 34 album there is. <laughs> there's no- Hi, I, hi friend. Yeah. Did I fight you? People I are really, um, so apparently, uh, Nessa from, uh, Sword and Shield. Very attractive, uh, African-American woman. 
Right on. Uh, there are people who have done uh, whitewashing mods for that. Uh, and that makes me feel weird. It's so bad. And there's some people like attempting to backpedal, like, oh, I'm just trying to trigger the SJW. It's just like, nope, this is weird. Nope, this, nope, you I suck. You went through the effort to do this, <laughs> and it's really weird. Ugh. Which one? Uh, 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 Pick one! Right. I saw what you fucking did there. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Okay, just, just start. Oh, well, uh. Right? Yeah. Yay, I did it, I did it, I did it. Look at that cute sprite. She's got the floofiest hair. I think everybody's gonna be okay. She's gonna be fine. Look at that floofy hair. Welcome to wait, puny trainer. Puny trainer? I'm flattering, I'm the gym leader. Uh, do not the... dare underestimate me. I've been the leader for only short <laughs> time. Go believe it or so. Oh, oh, I love how she's got like a, like a, a loud, a big mouth. Yeah. Like that's just to cover up. It's your girl. It's if you She is super fucking cute. I know, it's a, the best. Like, I, I, the fucking belt that they had. Yeah. The Tom Steyer belt. The Tom Steyer. <laughs> There's, Can I please explain to everybody what that is? There's a myth apparently going no, around. No, it's not a myth. I've seen it. Is there's Google image results? There, I, I don't know if there's Google image results, but I've seen it on an advertisement. Now, when you frame a presidential advertisement, you usually get a medium shot, maybe a medium wide, but you can only see about the belly button up. Right. Now, Haley says that her co-workers are talking about this belt that he wears. Specifically my boss. Steve is all about this belt. <laughs> Tell me about this belt. So it's it's not like oh it's not like oh all of a sudden Steve is about the belt. No, it's um set Tom Steyer in some of his ads you can see this very like elaborate geometric beaded belt that he has. And because I work in a museum and because we have actual belts in our collection that are reminiscent of that, uh we notice it right away. We're like, oh, it's that thing. <laughs> and Apparently my boss found one somewhere at like a thrift store and has just taken to wearing it just casually. Oh my god, comments. that last part was a joke. <laughs> I wanted him walking around pretending, Hi, I'm Tom Steyer. <laughs> <laughs> Haley, can you get those reports on my desk? I'm Tom Steyer. <laughs> You're Tom Steyer, that's good. It's not very effective, John. But now I'm poisoned. Don't talk about Tom Steyer that way. He can. No, there's nothing the wrong with Tom Steyer. I'm just like, he, he has this belt and you don't believe me that he does have this belt i know it's not that i don't believe what kind of horse am i gonna die on <laughs> that i am not i gonna prefer you to die on belt. a hill rather than a horse what is this horse doing he hasn't moved in several yes millennia. i will change pokemon I'm sorry um, that got really heated <sighs> what's your girl gonna send uh she's sending out camera up uh but i need something to heal uh somebody to take the hit yeah okay I don't think Puckerbutt appreciates nope, it. Nope, Puckerbutt's probably gonna die. This is like <laughs> the, what I want to be when I grow up. It's like the kid who likes space <laughs> going, to the, going to NASA for a field trip. Oops. Oh, 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 I was so don't use, uh, Don't overheat me. Doesn't that like make you more powerful or something? So it's, a very, it's a very strong attack, but it lowers your special attack after you use it. Okay, all right. That was, that was rough for you. Oh, nobody here is doing super great. Go, Mr. Kip. We're gonna take half from this. Attract! Oh, oh, fuck! Shit! <laughs> Look at them tits. <laughs> the one boy I have. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, Jesus. Look at them tits. Well, he go Stoketh. No, he will, has to be attracted to the tits. He'll be fine. Now, it's my belief that, uh, you. Shit! Sorry, sorry. Ooh, that sucks. Even if you cut back, it's gonna, like, drop, uh... Well, we're gonna see if I can confuse him here. Go, Super Blur Boy! <laughs> ah! Ah! Go, well, Stoketh! Welcome back to, uh, my tutorial on how to get free food. Number one, go up to the cash register. Number two, order your food. Number three... Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Number four, question mark. Number five... Profit. Court, court, yeah. Get that wing attack, boy. Stoketh, you're doing good! You're doing so good. Oh, blam. Stoketh, you're doing so good! Is Stoketh gonna fucking clinch? <laughs> clinch is such a good word. Is Stoketh gonna come out we Come out on top? We haven't used clinch since Paper Mario. Speaking of which, I gotta put a best of together again. Hit him nah. again! Hit him again! Hit him again! Damn Shit. it! That's cool. That's Ow. cool. Ow. The sunlight is strong, John. Kill him. Well, no, she's gonna use a hyper potion. That sucks. Nah. It's fine. I mean, it does suck. I mean, don't get don't get us wrong, but Blam! Stoke, I believe in you. The sunlight has faded now, John. <laughs> it's all sad. <laughs> you can't find paradise no more. That o is okay. Only camera ups can smell paradise. Wait, why are you using tackle over and over again? 
Because the AI here sucks? No. I don't think that's it. Okay. Stokus, kill him. Smack him. Stokus, kill him. Stokus, smack him. Oh, I'm kind of sad because you may uh, not learn the moves I want you to. Fuck you! <laughs> don't say that about my Fuck girl. Fuck you! Wow. Fuck your girl! <laughs> Fuck your girl! <laughs> Stab her in the face with a ride-on horn, and I, then in the pussy. Okay, that- whoa! <laughs> There's a subreddit called yes, 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 no. That was like yes, no, 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 no! <laughs> the yes was in the wrong place. Sunlight is very strong. She can only have so many hyper potions, yeah? Yeah, I, I think any gym leader only has two. I think oh, damn. getting more than that would require a, a league. Fighting. A league boy. Come on, Stokin! We'll get there! <laughs> Someday! <laughs> you have another hyper potion, I swear to fucking god. I okay. will kill thee. <laughs> Yay! Ugh. Sir Kip gained all this experience. Stokin is big boy now. Yeah, I wish he would evolve into big boy, but. Oh shit! I mean, we gotta fucking do the gym, right? Good job, buddy, come back. Okay. There's just water right away, and then we'll we'll make it work. Well, a mud shot is stronger. Against fire? Really? Well, okay, so he'll take the same amount either way, because he's a straight fire. Okay. Then. So like, what is why that? did you take double then? What? It, what what is his typing that leads? Torkoal to... is straight fire. And mud shot also does double. Yeah. So mud shot is just double. Okay. But, but I'm confused. Why are you but confused? But water is double. Like no, yeah. So they're both, but mud shot is a higher attack. But water makes more sense. But it's got I'm a eight. higher base attack. Okay. Wait. Okay. There good. we go. Thank God. I like you a lot, but you didn't. Re <laughs> it's you you <laughs> didn't respond to my text messages, and I mud shot on your face. Oh, look, oh, that is a lot of experience for you, boy. Oh, I guess I was trying too hard. No, it's okay, girl. I've only recently become a gin leader. I tried too hard to be someone I'm not. I have to do my thing. My Stop it, okay? Way. You're reading it in the fucking Shining Song voice, and Flannery deserves better than that. Oh, God, sorry. Um, Give me my bike back! Sorry, that was mean. I, yeah, I, it was. I, I don't have a voice yeah. for her. She doesn't deserve one. Oh, God. That's been that's been uh, Pokemon Flannery, guys. Tune in next Pokemon time. Pokemon Flannery? Tune in next time for... Um, TM50! For some more, more, uh, more action, more adventure. Actual walking and not just gym leader fights. Oh, Pokemon!